Hey y'all, welcome to Games for Young Minds. I'm Kent here with a game called Manifold. Now Manifold is an origami based puzzle game, which means that each sheet of paper contains its own puzzle. And as a result, you can fit a ton of fun into a tiny little box like this. So let's check it out. So when you open Manifold, you will see what looks like a stack of sticky notes, but it's actually just the entirety of the game. So you'll see all these different colored pieces of paper with black and white squares printed on them. And the idea of the game is to take one of these squares and fold it in such a way so that all of the black squares end up on one side of the page and all of the white squares end up on the other with none of the other colorful squares visible. And so the game does start off in a pretty straightforward manner. You might be looking at this puzzle and figuring out how to fold it even without having access to the actual game. But I will say that it definitely becomes much more challenging as you go along. The pieces get a lot more broken up. And honestly, the last 20 puzzles are just absolutely devilish. It took me a really long time to figure out how to solve some of these. But regardless of how comfortable your child is with origami, I would suggest starting with puzzle number one and working your way all the way through. Because the game was designed in such a way that you actually learn new ideas and new folds and new patterns as you go. So the first 20 or 30 puzzles, they're fun on their own, but they're also preparing you to solve the more challenging puzzles later on. So for example, if you look at puzzle number 30, You'll see all these sort of disconnected two by two blocks and it's not immediately obvious how you would fold this so that all the black pieces are on one side and all the white pieces are on the other. But because I've solved this before, I've noticed that this entire corner can be folded back and then I can take the white pieces and fold them over and they make another two by two square right here. So if I do that move in conjunction with a couple other moves, I should be able to solve the puzzle like so. And again, I'm using origami rules, which means no rips, no tears, no cuts. It's just folds so that in theory, I should be able to unfold this and get back to my original sheet of paper. Now, one thing I will say that's a potential downside of this game is that it is a progressive puzzle game, meaning once you've solved puzzle number 30, you can't you know, remove the folds and try again. You've, you've solved it. You start with puzzle number one and you work your way through puzzle number 100 and you're going to have hours of fun along the way, but then you're done with the game. But on the other hand, you do get this physical sense of accomplishment because you get this collection of solved squares. I mean, I bought this game at a toy store right before I got on an airplane to come back here to Birmingham, and it was the perfect game for an airplane because as soon as I was done with the game, I just stuffed this in the front pocket of my backpack, ripped off the next one, and I was on my way. And by the time the plane landed, my backpack was just brimming with all these solved squares, and it made me feel really accomplished to see all of these really challenging puzzles I had solved at the end of the flight that I never would have been able to solve if I had started on them in the beginning. And I think your child will have that same sense of accomplishment. I will say it's not that much of a financial commitment, you can usually find the game for under 10 bucks online. In fact, at one point I saw it on Amazon on sale for $4 a game. And so I went ahead and bought just a couple just in case I ever needed to play the game again. But it's fine actually because I don't have a problem and I can quit whenever I want. Okay, so we've already talked about why the game is addictive, but let's talk about why it's mathematical. And honestly, there is math in every single fold that your child makes. And I know that sounds like a horoscope or a fortune cookie or something, but it's actually this really well-developed idea in educational research known as spatial reasoning. And spatial reasoning is just the way that objects relate to each other in space. So this is the stuff that your kid is working on when they're building something out of blocks and they realize that this tower of blocks totally balances and works, whereas this tower of blocks totally falls over and doesn't work in the same way. Or if they're using Legos to construct a tower or a car or an animal's face, they're, they're using these square and rectangular objects to mimic other objects in the world. And if you've ever visualized where you turn and how far you go to get from your house to somebody else's, you're using your own sense of spatial reasoning. And there's actually a really strong body of research that there's a connection between early spatial reasoning and later success in math and science courses, which is very fascinating to me, especially because spatial reasoning is not something that's just like a skill that you're born with or not. No, it's much more like a muscle that you can exercise through repeated interaction with things like blocks and Legos and games like Manifold. So I do think that Manifold is an absolutely educational experience because every time your child is folding, they're visualizing where the page is going to go and what's the relationship on the other side of that page. They're thinking about angle and symmetry and all of these other ideas. 
But even if all of that weren't true, I would still recommend this game because it's just so much fun, and it's a wonderful introduction to the ideas of origami, which is honestly one of the most beautiful and fascinating areas of math that I can think of. In fact, if your kid uses this game to get into origami, there's an awesome follow-up video that they can check out. It's a TED Talk about the math of origami that I'll link to below. It is totally awesome. So if your kid gets this game or gets really into origami because of it, I would love to hear about that. I always love hearing comments from parents about awesome math interactions they have with their kids. And of course, you can sign up for my newsletter to get game recommendations every week. The entire archive is at my website, gamesforyoungminds.com. So happy folding, and remember to play games and ask questions. I'll see you soon.